Good morning, guys. Welcome to breakfast. I want to cook some stuff. Bre breakfast on the day by day of farm. I'm gonna make some more horse treats. I'm gonna make gluten free things for us. And I'm gonna make everything. So if he's feeling in the mood to cook. You guys know how in the olden days when you lived on a big farm, the wife would get up early in the morning and she would have like a big huge breakfast. Actually, in the olden days on a farm, you'd wake up and you'd go out there and you would do all the chores and work and work and work and then by the time you came home for breakfast, your wife would have everything made for you. Well today, it's gonna be a day like that on the day by day farm. We are eating before we go out though because it's gonna be a while before we get back home. So he's in the process of looking up a recipe for special brownies. What kind of brownies? Gluten-free. Gluten-free. She wants to make gluten-free healthy food lately. So I can actually make them and eat them. Yeah. <laughs> because what happens when you make sugar stuff? Um, you don't want to eat them. <laughs> so like two weeks ago I bought this bottle of apple cider vinegar for Gabby. Two weeks ago. Look how much she has had of it. She drinks a shot glass of this every day. It's supposed to be so good for you. So these are the brownies that Sophie wants to make. What are your flour choices? Those. Gluten-free baking powder. Flour. Gluten-free baking flour. Mm, you know what I'm trying to say, but they have gluten-free baking I'm flour. Gluten-free baking flour. Say it again. Gluten-free baking flour. <laughs> say it five times fast. Gluten-free baking flour. <laughs> exactly. You guys try it. <laughs> it is hard. Daisy's learned a new trick, you guys, and I'm going to show you. We're going to show you. All right, this is it. This is on her way to playing dead. Dead. Down. <laughs> She's dead. She plays dead, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I tried to say that. Let's try it again. Down. Forward. Good girl. <laughs> She stole the treats. Come here. Come. <laughs> so the next time. She just knew. Like, <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, that's amazing what you can teach dogs. And well, Molly knows new tricks too. She's on her way to rolling over. Yeah. Because I say roll over. Yeah. And she's close. Means like then she looks on the table to see if there's any more treats sitting there. If there's none, then she's like, eh, I'm done. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you're a good girl too. Before we had horses, spring cleanup meant raking leaves and cutting grass. All super fun things. But now that we have horses, spring cleanup means cleaning poop. A lot of poop. There's still lots of ice out here today, but by the end of today, it should be mostly melted. The ice is going to melt. Turn the earth to mud, but it's still gonna be such a positive thing. One of the things that I have on my list for this spring is to train a penny to go in that trailer. Yeah, she is an accomplished trailer woman. She's been places, she's done stuff. She used to trailer out for trail rides all the time. She's not used to a ramp, and that is what started the problem. But this fall, we're gonna fix it. Hi, girls. Hello. Oh, Sam left the barn so clean today. I think the farrier is supposed to arrive today. I have it in my calendar. I could be mistaken. We still have the ice in the arena. Oh, well, hello there. Yeah. Yeah, such a pretty girl. I'm trying to get rid of all our carrots. We have leftover carrots today. See if I can remind her how to back up. Keep going. I'm using the carrot to push her back. <laughs> that can't work. Back up. All right, let's, oh, good girl. So the course, <laughs> have a little bite, little mini, little bite. Oh my goodness. I am now trapped between horses, which is never a good thing. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, get out of my way. Apparently Willow's favorite food is carrots. Penny stays back where it's safe. <laughs> get your horse. <laughs> Can I give her a carrot? Gracie needs a piece too. Hi. Uh, hey, yeah, so that we're facing FaceTime and she bite you? 
We're FaceTiming Sam in the barn. Yeah, like we thought that the water broke, but I think Sam maybe just left the tap on. No, I think it's broke. You think it's broke? I don't think anything's coming out. No water came out. I'm a little bit nervous that our farrier's not gonna show up. If you haven't been following, then you might not know that we hired a separate farrier a local girl to come and do the mare. So when she was here last time, I booked an appointment with her and put it in my calendar. She booked it in her, so hopefully we're on the same day. It's just about time for her to arrive. Typically, she messages me before she arrives, and I got nothing yet. So, Dad called me a silly goose. <gasps> the water's over full. Yeah. yeah, but that turned off. Oh, okay. Wait. That's why he called me a silly goose. Why did he call you a silly goose? Oh. Did he tell you to turn it off? Um, okay, so come in here. No, 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 I've got Penny. Yeah, we can use Penny for one minute. Why? Because I can show mom the investigation. Just tell me the investigation. It's okay, it's not so an there's investigation. feathers, it's oh. a crime and then scene. there's a cracked egg on the floor. Okay, go show them the crime scene. Here, take the camera. We'll walk over here. There's a feather. And this is on the ice too. I'll walk over here. There's two little feathers. And if we walk all the way over here, oh, there's another feather right there. And if we walk here, here's the egg. It's frozen now. But yeah, that's it. And there's a little shell right there. And yeah, it's scattered. My favorite season. This is the worst season. No, oh, I know. Hair gets everywhere, but it's so satisfying. So satisfying to shed your pony. Right. And she is happy. this issue where I've explained it before but basically she has normal poop but then she has really runny poop too and it's super annoying I looked it up and there is like a, an issue like some horses have this and the cure for it is to inject them with other horses poop so I might do that procedure I'm gonna try a couple of things first to try and fix it but I heard a car I think our farrier is here all right so Penny Pickle is all done I'm just holding her here so we can put a blanket back on her Hold on there, Miss Gracie girl, you're next. Mo hey. Molly's really getting into her herding, her herding behavior. Hold on. So the farrier did show up, I love her. She's a woman and she is, loves her mares. Like she has all mares at her barn. We were talking about how you're either like a mare person or a gelding person. She was saying like she does not connect with geldings. And even though I love our geldings, it's the same for me. Like, I, I don't get their energy. I, I get a mare's energy. I feel like you either are, I know I've said it before, you either are a mare person or a gelding person. I'm definitely a mare person, but you guys, the sun is out. We open the door and it's warm, okay? You guys would probably be freezing, but I can feel the heat of the sun. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, the sun is actually touching on me and I can feel heat from it and normally I don't ever feel heat from it in the winter. It feels amazing. We might have to take the girls blankets off today. 
I mean, it's so cold right now, but I can feel some heat. I'll be back later. Maybe we'll go for a ride if we have time, okay? It stays warm. See you later. No matter where I move this little bed, Macy hey. finds it. Hello, you see the little tail? Yes, you're so cute. Come on, let's get you and Toby in your bed. There you go, a little boy. Little girl. All right, it's time to go. We're going to the barn. I'm so excited, you guys. Add a little bit of spring to my to my season. Add a little bit of warmth. The horse is going go ahead, on. sing it, Sam. He's been singing a song. What are you singing? Oh my God, he's been singing an old song. It was 2006 before Gabby and Sophie were born. I hate it. The sing it to us. So it's called song. "I'm Too Sexy." He says he's too sexy. It hurts. That's the song. Yeah. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for they my shirt. They put that song in Shrek. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, there you go. You know the song. I'm not listening to it. You think you're sexy like Shrek? I'm too sexy for this family. I mean, he has a belly like Shrek. Shrek. He has a it's belly. It's fairy godmother's son. There's the mud. It's starting. And it's a flood zone. It's a flood. Yeah, there could be ice underneath there. There, there is. is. A little stream. It's a stream of horse pee. Little river of horse pee. It's gorgeous out, you guys. I'm excited for what I have planned tomorrow. Wait till you see what we're doing tomorrow. What? I'm not telling you. It's going to be a surprise. What's plan tomorrow? I hate surprises. Gabby hates surprises. I do too. We're I'm all going to find out tomorrow. Obi wants to take off the blankets. Look how white the glimmer is. I know. It's so it's gorgeous. So all right. I shouldn't be videoing this because it's not our horse. But that's what happens when you have a white horse and right in a pile of poo. I bet you that horse just got cleaned. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Right on top of a pile of poo. Good thing he didn't roll in this stuff. Weird that they go to the snow and the ice to roll. Oh, he's still clean. Doesn't he look like a unicorn? We are here for chiropractor. And it is getting muddy. Careful. Hi, right, handsome. Finn. Finn's going first for the chiropractor. I love Finn too. Got here in the nick of time. In the nick of time, Finny was starting to sweat. In his light light blanket so the chiropractor should be here any minute and i wanted to explain i keep getting a lot of questions about why we're not bringing our horses home for the summer i want to bring them home like a lot i want to bring them home i miss the relationship yeah i miss the relationship with them but we don't have a place to ride we won't have a place to ride until summer and then it's just a grass arena and last year we had so much trouble with chino with his feet gabby's gonna be showing trillium we're gonna be doing a lot of shows and we have no place to ride them and so Right now, we've made the decision that we're just gonna leave them here. And it's not too far. We can be here whenever we need to be here. And there is gonna be a time that we're gonna take our horses home. I just, we're gonna play it by ear, you guys. We're gonna see what happens. And I know what you guys think, like, we have an indoor, but it's really small. And we have an outdoor, but it gets hard in the summer, rock hard. We don't wanna put a lot of money into our place because we definitely wanna move. Just so many things to, figure out and we already told the guy like we don't want to take them home we do want to take them home it's just not in the best interest of everybody and they like it here if they didn't like it here they'd be gone or if COVID happened and if COVID came back again and they said you can't see your horse home like 
we'll take them home. We would take them home if it was dire and it's they needed, to, yeah, if we needed to be, if we needed to take them home, well, we'd take them home in a minute and if anything changed, we'd take them home in a minute. But as it is right now, we gotta keep them in the best situation for them and for the girls. We're really close to our trainer, trainers right now. Like, it's just a good situation that we're in right now. Right, Finny? And what do you feel about the decision to leave our ponies here? It's fine because at our place we wouldn't be able to ride them. Yeah, not all the time. The ground was hard. The but the one thing that I do really like about having them home is I can ride them like just tell my mom, come down like 15 minutes when I'm tacked up. Gabby, you are not cutting. Are you cutting? Um, if his tail gets too long, he can step on it. Nah, yeah. he gets it in the mud. A lot better. Sophie loves Gabby cutting his tail. I actually like his hair this long like this and somebody said the other day like this is such a nice length for him no. He looks like he's got Penny's length of hair Gabby's cutting again So anyways, uh, we've been talking with our trainers and the hair is about to go We're About to lose hair Chino Bambino and that brings me to a question to you guys one of our trainers believes in pulling mane and the other trainer believes in cutting the mane. What do you do? Do you believe in pulling? Pulling thins it out and makes it so it's not straight. Cutting doesn't thin it out and kind of looks bad because it's straight. It's already happening. It's already happening. Chino, we should have brought the razors and then you could have... Aw, oh, look at how cute he is. One thing's for sure, both of our trainers love him. It's a little uneven, but that's fine. I love it. It actually looks really so cute. So his mane is really thin up here. Yeah. And then once it gets to right here, it's just like a huge chunk of mane. Yeah, huge thick in the middle. Freaking hair. Can you can you pull like some of it and cut some of it? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're not cutting it. Well, it looks actually looks cute, Gabby. Rest in peace, hair. Started off like. Started. Yeah, you're growing. Learning a lot as an equestrian, doing all the stuff now. I was growing. No. <laughs> Storm. You're gonna love the chiropractor. Hello, buddy boy. <laughs> Storm, don't you dare. There they go. Yeah, and there goes there's Gabby in the woods over there. There's the two that we need to get. Stormy, come here, buddy. Come on. Oh boy, come to me. Come on, Storm, you got a chiropractor. I'm gonna fix your back now that you've been running around. Oh, yeah. Now that you've been running around, I'm gonna fix your back, buddy. Hey? All right, we caught you. We caught you. Your mama's not gonna be too happy, is she? Hey? Mama's not gonna be too happy. Hey, buddy. Oh, I saw you trying to chase them, and luckily it was you and not me. Yep. All right, there you go. Yeah. Are you gonna take him in too? Yeah. Usually he's the one that comes up to us all the time. So, yeah. He always comes up to us. He doesn't run. It's text the ones where runs. No, he ran with Storm. Oh, I, I know. We were watching. We were watching the run. Yep. Usually it's uh. Tax that run. It's such a nice day out today. It's all sweaty and tired. How about snow though? Here comes nice. Chino. Here I'll walk. We broke the boots. Whoa, I saw this. Hey, your boots are not good in the, in the yeah. ice. Are your boots good? And they're pretty good. No, I didn't give him any treats. Here are some treats. Here. He's standing there, he was shaking his, his hair, he's like, and then he looks back at us and he's like, wait, are you sure I should be out here without a blanket? Go have fun. 
Okay, so we are done. It is only 2.31 and I am feeling the need to ride my horse in this beautiful weather. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and take her down the road and see how she does. I have a couple of videos that I need to get done that I need to take for a video that I'm doing. So I'm excited. Like this is the first time since the whole weather change that I'm gonna get to go. All the times I went out and bought new blankets and we have like these blankets just sitting here. And I have a new rain sheet here for Finn that I bought and forgot about. And a rain, another rain sheet, insulated rain sheet. We are ready. We're ready to go, Penny Pickle. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Oh wait, she didn't get her treat after. She always gets a treat after her bridal. So lucky for me, I have Sam. He's coming with me. I have the girls. The girls are coming with me. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys this really quick story. So basically, I'm a bit nervous because I'm a bit nervous because I haven't ridden on the road in a long time and it's spring and it's warm out and there's grass and she's snorting. And I really want Gabby to ride her first, but she won't. Oh. Hey. So I just have to jump on and brave it. But here's the story. So when I first started going to the Pasofino farm, I'm like, you know, I don't know how to ride very well. I'm just a beginner. I, I don't know what I'm doing, so can we just take it kind of easy? And she's like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And then the last few times that I've gone to the Pasofino farm, I've been like, oh, you know, I don't know how to gallop. So like, if we're gonna gallop, I can't gallop. Is it right if I just stand here and wait for you guys to gallop? And the lady's like, shut it. <laughs> she basically says, I don't care what you say. You've done it before. You're doing it again. Just, just shut it. And then so I shut it. And that's what Sophie needs. She needs somebody to say, shut it. Which is like Brandon. Because when she tells me to shut it, essentially, I realize nobody's gonna listen to me. I'm just gonna have to do it and figure it out. Because I got nobody to listen to me. So today, I got nobody to listen to me. And in our last lesson, Sophie had nobody to listen to her. And she nailed it. So I'm gonna go out there, and Patty Pickle and I are hopefully gonna nail it. This is what the ground looks like. We're trying to navigate. She's just excited because of the grass. So the other thing is, is that we brought the whole gang. We brought Willow and we brought Gracie because I'm setting myself up for success. I know that she's herd bound now and she really likes her friends. So the whole darn family is going, uh-oh, there's a bike rider. <laughs> little walk huh? nice out everybody's gone back to the barn but we stopped for grass stopped for grass because you got a nice mama penny pickle so I started cleaning up the, the mare's field I'm excited to get it done so penny seemed a little off on my ride uh, too short of a trim so I think the farrier trimmed her a little bit too short and willow too we didn't notice until we started, like, until we took them for a walk. I'm gonna look at the footage and see. It's hard to tell because I was riding, but yeah, she looks a little bit sore, like more sore than she was. She was really good. She was moving really well. I sent videos to Fiona and she was moving fine. And now she definitely seems more sore, the same kind of sore that Willow is. And Willow is definitely lame from the trim too. Sometimes that happens. Like I know other farriers that, so I know other horses that are lame every single time after the farrier. And the way to fix it is to just to tell her to leave a little bit more next time. 
Grace is the only one not Grace is the only one who made it through that trim. Don't you know that you're beautiful?